Hello, everyone. I'm Hong Yingchen from Peking University in China. It's my honor to present our paper, ABS NFT, Securitization and the Repurchase Skin for Non-Fungible Tokens Based on Game Theoretical Analysis. Here are the contents of this presentation. Now, let me introduce non-fungible tokens. The non-fungible token is a type of cryptocurrency. Different from fungible tokens like Bitcoin, each NFT is non-fungible and has a unique ID. Due to non-fungibility, NFT can naturally serve as a certificate of digital assets. Now, NFT has many applications, such as avatar, digital artwork, digital collection, decentralized games, and so on. NFT has a huge market. OpenSea is the most popular marketplace for non-fungible tokens. The trading volume of non-fungible tokens has reached 10 billion US dollars in OpenSea. In OpenSea, NFTs are traded through English auctions or Dutch auctions. <coughs> Here, we focus on the liquidity of non-fungible tokens. The issue of liquidity is crucial in both DeFi and the traditional finance. Usually, if assets have higher liquidity, they would have higher trading volume and the fuel have higher prices. Particularly, in blockchain, the liquidity of fungible tokens, such as WBTC and ETH, has been enhanced by automated market makers like Uniswap and SushiSwap. Then, what about the liquidity of NFTs? Actually, the non-fungibility of NFTs has led to some restrictions on liquidity. First, non-fungibility means indivisible. The average trading price of crypto punks once reached higher than 200 ETH. If bitcoins are expensive, I can trade 1% bitcoins, but I can't trade 1% crypto punks. Secondly, shared ownership is not allowed because of non-fungibility. Therefore, it's difficult to reduce risk and enhance the liquidity of NFTs through portfolios. What's more, some NFT assets, such as patents, need financial support to foster the process of development. They would require a means to attract finance. The above two limitations also exist in traditional settings. Particularly, we want NFTs to be deeply involved in the current decentralized finance ecosystem, such as automated market makers. However, the future of non-fungibility makes NFT unable to be directly applied in automated market makers. This is because fungibility is the basis of current automated market makers. For example, Uniswap is the largest automated market maker and decentralized exchange. The trading rules of Uniswap are based on the product of the number of Bitcoin and Ethereum in the capital pool. A common way of enhancing the liquidity of assets is asset-backed securitization, ABS. ABS splits assets into fungible securities. It can overcome restrictions of non-fungibility. ABS can make NFTs divisible and allow shared ownership. Furthermore, NFT securities can be applied in automated market makers. In traditional finance, the repurchase agreement is an important application of ABS. The repurchase agreement is a short-term transaction between two parties 
in which one party borrows cash from the other by pledging finance security. Here is an example of a repurchase agreement. In the first step, the borrower mortgages assets that are worth $100 and then gets cash of $80. In the second step, the borrower returns $88 and redeems his assets. However, the repurchase agreement cannot be directly applied to our topic. The repurchase prices are usually derived from the market model while the NFT market model is still immature. For example, the price volatility of NFTs is too large. The average price of CryptoPunks decreases by more than 60% in the last six months. What's more, the repurchase agreement cannot directly improve the liquidity of NFTs. We want to securitize NFTs to overcome the restrictions of non-fungibility instead of mortgaging NFTs to obtain cash flow. The repurchase agreement has also been applied in DeFi. Organization is a decentralized platform that supports repurchase agreements based on digital assets. In organization, Users can borrow cash flow or assets with good liquidity by pledging assets with poor liquidity. In organization, the repurchase prices and the evaluations of assets are provided by decentralized exchange. Serial. Such a pricing method is dangerous because centralized exchanges are very vulnerable to attacks like flash loans. Represent ABS NFT, a securitization and the repurchase scheme for NFT. In ABS NFT, the securitization process overcomes restrictions of non fungibility and enhances the liquidity of non fungible tokens. Additionally, we design a repurchase scheme that doesn't rely on market models decentralized exchanges, or oracles. Note that the definition of a repurchase may be slightly different from that in traditional finance. Now, we introduce the design of ABS NFT. There are two kinds of non-fungible tokens in ABS NFT. Complete NFT and the Securitized NFT Complete NFTs are just the conventional non-fungible tokens. Securitized NFTs are a set backed securities of complete NFTs. Securitized NFTs are just like fungible tokens. Here is the securitization process of ABS NFT. In this example, a complete NFT is split into nine securitized NFTs. Securitized NFTs can be freely traded and they can be also applied in automated market makers. Here is the restructuring process of ABS NFT. If someone owns all securities of a complete NFT, then he can restructure the complete NFT from the securitized NFTs. Here is the overview of our design. The complete NFT is split into nine securitized NFTs via the securitization process. Securitized NFTs can be freely traded. Securitized NFTs can be also restricted into a complete NFT. However, it may be hard to collect all securitized of an NFT through free trade. Therefore, a repurchase scheme is needed. Let me introduce the NFT repurchase scheme. 
which is the most important part of ABS NFT. We assume that all owners of NFT securities have private valuations. For example, owner B thinks the value of a securitized NFT is 10, while the private valuations of owner C and owner D are 6 and 12. OK, let's see the repurchase mechanism. If a participant owns more than half of all securities of an NFT, he can initiate the NFT repurchase mechanism. We call him the repurchasing party. A repurchase process is a multi-leader stable board game. Other owners, which are called the repurchased party, are leaders of the stakeholder game. They would first separately give bids on securities. Then, the repurchasing party, which is the follower of the stakeholder game, would also give a bid. Note that, although it's a repurchasing party that first initiates the NFT repurchase scheme, he would be the last to give a bid. Now, we show the results of the repurchase mechanism. For each owner in the repurchased party, if his bid is lower than the bid of the repurchasing party, his securities would be bought by the repurchasing party. The price is the average of their bids. Otherwise, he would buy securities from the repurchasing party at the same amount as to how much he owns. Similarly, the price is the average of their bids. But there is a discount on the payment that the repurchasing party would receive. You may wonder the reason why we deploy a discount. The answer is that this little bath is helpful to calculate the equilibrium. For convenience, we'll ignore the discount in following examples. Let me give a concrete example of our repurchase mechanism. There are 9 securities in total. Owner B has 5 securities, so he can initiate the repurchase scheme. Then, Owner C and Owner D should give bids on the securities. In this example, we assume that they give bids truthfully. The private value of Owner C is 6, shows so he bids 6. The private value of owner D is 12, so he bids 12. Then the repurchasing party, owner B, bids 10. Let's see what's the result. For owner C, since his bid is lower than owner B's bid, he would sell his securities to owner B at the price of 8. For owner C, since his bid is higher than owner B's bid, he would buy securities at a price of 11. The trading amount is 2, which is the same as the number of securities that owner D owns. Finally, owner B has 5 securities. Owner D has four securities, and owner C has nothing. The utilities 
are all non-negative, since owner B still has more than half of the securities. He can initiate the repurchase scheme in the next round. Let me give some insights into the repurchase mechanism. All participants must propose their bids rationally under the repurchase mechanism. If a participant bids truthfully, he always obtains non-negative utility. Participants may get a negative utility if they bid irrationally. Here is an example of irrational bids. Owner C wants to sell securities at a higher price than he bids 14. As soon as owner B still bids truthfully, since 14 is bigger than 10, owner C would buy two securities at the price of 12. The utility of owner C would be minus 12 which is negative. Similarly, owner D wanted to buy securities at a lower price, then he bids 8. Then he would sell his securities at a, the price of 9. Owner D would also get a negative utility. OK, let's go ahead. We have conducted further analysis and discussions on ABS NFT. We have analyzed the Stekelberg equilibrium in many cases. Firstly, we studied the case of the two-player Stekelberg game. That is, there are only two participants who own that kind of security NFTs. We provide the Stekelberg equilibrium in both settings of complete information and incomplete information. We also study the repeated scenario of the two-player Stekelberg game and provide a Stekelberg equilibrium. For a general case of multiplayer Stekelberg game, we also provide a Stekelberg equilibrium. Additionally, we prove that collusions among the repurchased party can lead to higher utilities. That is, participants in the repurchased party have no incentives to collude. We also discussed two practical problems. The first problem is the budget constraints. Budget constraints are common problems for many newly proposed mechanisms. Participants of our repurchase mechanism may pay for the repurchase. We have a blockchain solution to this problem. We allow participants to raise funds on the blockchain. Participants can sell the chance of buying back securities to anyone in the blockchain system. The price of that chance can be even negative. The other problem is that some participants may not bid in the repurchase process. We also have some solutions to protect these lazy bidders while ensuring the normal operation of the repurchase scheme. Now, let's give a summary of ABS NFT. ABS NFT is a novel securitization and repurchase scheme for NFT to overcome the restrictions in existing NFT markets. We model the NFT repurchase process as a stakeholder game and then analyze a stakeholder equilibria under several scenarios. In the future, We'll continue to study how to host complete NFTs or security NFTs in decentralized custody protocols. 
will also explore whether ABS NFT can serve as a price oracle. That's all. Thanks for listening.